Hello guys, so let's continue with this example. So we, uh, in the previous recording, we do our input, we do our output, and we're gonna now do the voltage gains, AV naught, AV and GV, okay? So let's start by AV naught. So here is basically the equivalent circuit, the AC, uh, you know, equivalent circuit of the, our common emitter amplifier with, uh, with degenerate resistance or RE, but without RL, because basically AV naught is the open loop voltage gain. Open loop means uh, the, the load is not connected, it's open, okay? So I just removed it. So AV naught is basically equal to VO over VM. It is VO, okay? So let's try to get it. And VN again is, uh, you know, is the voltage uh, on the terminals of the signal, input signal. It might be equal to the input signal. It might not equal to, uh, be equal to the input signal. It will be equal to the input signal if our signal here, the internal resistance is zero, but in general, no. That's why here it's not equal. So let's try to do that. So the input is basically the voltage across RB. Okay. Or from that point to the ground which is basically RB. So we can determine it from that loop in here. Let's call it loop one. So by making KVL at loop one, let's see what's, what's gonna happen. So here is IB. And remember the current flowing here is IB plus beta IB, the addition of these two currents. So it's beta plus one, IB. So what we have is the following, that V input is equal to, if we make Kirchhoff on loop one, IB R by plus beta plus one, IB R E. That's VI. How about VO? VO is very easy because look, RC here, which is basically, uh, VO is the voltage of RC. Uh, uh, there is a current flowing, which is beta IB flowing from bottom to up. So it's making a voltage opposite to that from up to bottom. It's basically negative to, uh, to the output. So the output is minus the voltage across RC, which is uh, beta IB RC. So we can say that AV node is equal to VO over V input, so minus minus uh, beta IB RC over IB R by plus beta plus one IB R E. Then IB will go from both, you know, uh, numerator and denominator. And this must happen, you know, uh, AV node or R, R input or out must always be as a function of the constants in you ha that you have in the circuit or beta as a transistor characteristic. So that's basically equal to minus beta RC over R by plus beta plus one RE. And before we go forward, we must compare it to what we got uh, with no RE. This is really easy. You don't need, you don't need to go back or something, just put RE equal to zero. So previously it was, if we put RE equal to zero, it was minus beta RC over R by. So one uh, important information here, or two important observations here. Number one, it's reduced. Look, it was beta RC over just R by. Now we increase the denominator of the, of the, of the expression with that term in here. So number one, AV node get reduced because of RE, the presence of RE. And of course, if RE, the smaller RE is, the smaller, you know, the, uh, this reduction, we can say. This is number one. But number two, this is, bad, this is bad, of course. This is not good, okay? But what we gain here, something that we really looked for when we mentioned 
the problems of common emitter with, with the, the previous con configuration of common emitter amplifier. This is another configuration, also common emitter amplifier, which is a stability. Now we gain stability, and how is that? Look, we said that with that expression in here, AV is directly proportional to beta. Any change in the left hand side will affect the right hand side. I mean, if beta changes in the left hand, in the right hand side, I'm sorry, AV of course will change with the same same factor. I mean, if beta is doubled, AV will be doubled, for sure. Okay, assuming RC and R by is constant, they, they should be constant. But look now uh, in that equation in here. You have beta in the numerator and you have beta in the denominator. So the change in the, you know, in the numerator will be a, a little bit canceled by the change in the denominator. I mean, beta will change in both, you know, uh, you know, uh, in both and at the same time. So it's not the direct proportional like before in here. Now there is something that will cancel out some of the change that we that you can see in the numerator. Okay, so now we gain stability. Because beta is in numerator and the denominator as well. So when beta RC increases in the numerator, we have beta plus one RE will increase at the same time. So they will equalize or, you know, a little bit cancel in each other. Of course, this is dependent on the RE value. If RV, if RE and RC are comparable in values, for example, five kilo ohms and four kilo ohms, you know, that's, that's good for the stability. But if RE is, you know, small, then it's much smaller than RC, then we can see a little bit, you know, it's not that complete uh, stability that you get, okay? So, but, but this was at, at a cost. The cost is that AV has reduced. But for some application we favor uh, having very high input, uh, very high input resistance, even more, uh, even with, if, if, we, if we have less gain. So st we're still in, good, in the good, in the good, you know, uh, we still, this, this, this circuit is valuable and can be used even if it's, it's again, it's less than before. And we can deal with the gain, I mean, there are other ways that we discuss in the future that we can, that we can increase still the gain. Now let's do a V number four. A V, and A V is, is V O over V input. Now with the presence of R input, so let's paste the circuit in here. Oops. So. Uh, We can do, we can just put our, our L here, okay, and calculate, you know, uh, AV, but I'm gonna do it in another way, another easier way, basically, because we got our O. If you didn't get our O, then you can do it the normal way. You can do both, of course, let's do both. Let's start by the easier one, that way, that's, that's new, I didn't explain it before. So here is, you know, The circuit, the amplifier circuit from the load side. If we look, if the load is looking in the circuit, okay, he's gonna see RO and a voltage source here, which is AV naught VI. Here is VO. Maybe three, three videos ago or three lectures ago, we took this, we said that the source is seeing the amplifier as just our input. And the load is seeing the amplifier as RO in series with, you know, the amplified signal. And we said that RO should be small and stuff. So we just review this. This is one way to get AV. We're gonna get the other way, that's fine. So based on that, VO here, VO, remember this is two resistors in, in series. So it's V O will be just a voltage divider. So it's a AV note R L over R L plus R O. I'm sorry, AV note uh, V I, forget V I. 
So let's divide both with VI. So VO over VI equal to EB naught RL over RL plus RO. What is VO over VI? This is what we're searching for. This is EV. So EV is equal to VO over VI equal to EV naught, which we already calculated, multiplied by RL, which is constant and we know, over RL plus RO, the output resistance, which, which, which we also calculated. So here is RO, it's equal to RC. And here is EV naught, it's equal to that expression in here. So we can just, you know, compensate. So EV is equal to EV naught, which is minus beta, RC over R by plus beta plus one RE. And here is RL over RL plus RC. Here is a little trick that we're gonna do right now. So this is equal to minus beta over R by plus beta plus one RE. I'm gonna just bring this RC into that term, you know. So it will be RC, RL over RC plus RL. Remember guys, if you, let's do this with another color, you know. So remember guys, if you have two resistances like this, in parallel, R1 and R2. So the total resistance is R1 barrel R2 is equal to the multiplication over the addition, right? Look what we have here. Multiplication over the addition. So this is basically RC parallel with RL. So AV, let's go back to normal car. AV is equal to minus beta, RC parallel RL over R by plus beta plus one uh, RE. It's exactly like AV naught, but with the inclusion of RL now in the numerator, parallel with RC. And this is, of course, of course, will reduce AV naught. Whenever you have a parallel combination, that's meaning the resultant will be less than the smallest between the two uh, resistance of CD resistance in barrel, whatever. Okay, so the resultant, you know, or the overall resistance of RC barrel RL will be smaller than either RL or RC is the smallest. And of course, this will be, you know, less than RC. And again, if we compare it with the original value, so the original value was like this. So this is the original value. Let's write it originally so you guys know what i'm writing originally it was originally minus beta rc barrel rl over r by now again we have this term here in the in the denominator which is good yes it will decrease you know of course is again for sure because it's we, since we add something is innovative this this will decrease the ratio, the ratio. But it adds stability because again, in the beginning, beta was just here. Beta doubled, AV will be doubled. Beta halved, you know, reduced. AV will be reduced. But now no, beta is in both sides. Numerator and denominator. If beta RC barrel RL increases because beta increases, then at the same time, beta RE or beta plus one RE will also increase because beta increases. Well, let's do, let's do AV in the, in the other way. Let's have another, you know. So here is a circuit. Let's now get another solution. For AV. So just go with the normal, you know, way that AV equal to VO over VI. You will notice that you don't do anything new because basically now beta i uh, beta ib or ic is is flowing in the parallel combination of rc and r it will be the same solution as ev note although now vo it is slightly changed so v, vo here is is equal to minus beta ib and the parallel combination of rc parallel rl 
and vi again from that loop in here you will find that vi is equal to i b i b r by plus beta plus one r e i b so a v equal to v over v input minus beta i b r c parallel r l over i b r by plus beta plus one r e i b i b will go away so minus beta r c parallel r l over r by plus beta plus one r e exactly what we get from the first solution Although the one with RO is really easy, really simple, you know, just you have the AV node, uh, R, uh, VI and R node, very simple circuit, you know, multiple divide. Okay, now let's get GV, so number, number five now. GV. GV is uh, VO over V signal. VO over V signal, okay. Now let's get back here. So here is VO, same circuit. Here is VO, okay. So uh, VO is still same, VO is equal to. And yeah, and we know that we can reduce all the circuit on our input. So here is V signal. Here is our signal. Okay. And we did this before that we find that basically GV is equal to EV, our input over our input plus our signal. Okay. So we know AV, it's in here, minus beta, RC parallel RL, over R by, plus beta plus one, RE. And our input is, uh, we know it, it is basically RB, plus, it's increased, you know, plus uh, R by, sorry, RB parallel with, Barrel to R by plus beta plus one R E over R input, which is again R B barrel R by plus beta plus one R E plus R segment. Okay. Plus R segment. So then our input here increased. Okay. But the increase in our input come in, in two locations, the numerator and the numerator. So it will not affect GV, it will not increase it. Because uh, if it increased here, it's also increased here. So they will cancel each other. But the real factor here that will determine if GV has reduced or has increased or decreased is basically EV. And the EV, of course, uh, decreased by this factor. Just about R is equal to zero to get a GV, the previous GV. So if we do that, that was the previous GV originally. Minus beta RC barrel RL over R by multiplied by uh, almost R by over R by plus R. Uh, signal because we said that you know r by barrel rb approximately equal to r by but we can't say this now because we don't know re so we can't we can say that rb is larger than r by plus beta plus one re or the opposite okay so again this factor here almost doesn't change because you increase something in the numerator and you increase it again in the numerator, in the numerator. But for the first, uh, you know, factor here, yeah, this one decreased, so GV increased. So GV decreased, but 
becomes more stable, you know, with beta it changes. Okay, guys, that was basically, you know, the, uh, the common emitter amplifier with degenerate resistance, okay? In the next video, we're gonna explore uh, an example, but it's a numerical example. So we're gonna do the DC analysis, and from it, we're gonna go to the AC analysis, okay? Thank you very much for watching this video, and see you in the next video, bye-bye.